Yeah. Unfortunately, at the wrong place at the wrong time, and that shouldn't happen. Thanks for inviting us in. It's now 11 o'clock and we begin tonight with that breaking news. In the last hour, police have now confirmed a young person is dead after a shooting that took place on the east side of Indianapolis. Right now, no one is in custody. We've got Logan Gay joining us live from the scene tonight, which is near 38th and Sherman. Logan, you've been talking with investigators. What have you learned? Good evening, Scott. This apartment complex is on Blue Spruce Lane, and it's a very active and large scene. I'm going to step aside so you can have a better look. But police say that they received a shots fire call shortly before 9 p.m. And when they arrived, they found a juvenile boy outside with a gunshot wound. He was taken to the hospital in critical condition and died shortly after. Police say that this all started with an altercation between two different groups, groups that the young boy was not affiliated with. But gunshots were fired and he was hit. Now police are begging the community to make better choices. We continuously talk about this over and over again about conflict resolution. It's certainly important, and this is why. You took it up on yourself, you picked up a firearm, and you hurt someone who had absolutely, to our knowledge, nothing to do with whatever disturbance that you had amongst each other. And it's so sad that a mom has to go through this. And I often wonder, like, you're a suspect, you did this, and some of these folks, you know, you're gonna spend decades in prison when we get you. So that has to ring a bell to you to say, hey, this is not, this is not okay. Scott, there's still no suspect in custody, and this is a very large apartment complex. Take a look around. I mean, there are apartments everywhere, and so police, they're hopeful that someone saw something, that someone heard something that might be helpful to them. That's why they're hoping that they will come forward. If you have any information, they're begging you to come forward. You can come forward to them personally by contacting IMPD, or you can also call Crime Stoppers at 317-262-TIPS. Scott?